Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Wild Satellite. This is my next video for you. This is the review of the Frost Commander 140 from Thermal Right. Continue to watch. Right, so what we're gonna do now is I've done a load of testing. Uh, I've done a lot of CPU based benchmarks. I've done a lot of testing on this cooler. And one thing that really stands out is which you're probably gonna get to now is the size i mean look at the size in this this is humongous it's got a 140 in the middle a 120 that pushes it on that side just look at the sheer size this is more of like a premium version of the commander as you can see it's all like aluminum and or aluminium and it's got oh just mm, look beautiful then you got by there then it's got the thermal right embossed by there on top of the uh heat pipes this little aluminium cover looks very beautiful I really like the look of it now I have got the frost spirit here which is basically the RGB version but this is more of a higher end because it's not RGB it's not like that it's more of aesthetics and me personally I like it it's a very nice air cooler it looks beautiful and in my system I will make sure to put pictures up I'll show you because obviously I do a lot of testing so I can't keep the products in my test pen system every time I do a video because I've got to test something else as you can probably see I've got the new brand new thermal right AIO so let's uh, get into the benchmarks now what I will say is the benchmarks I've tested right now is all together there is five okay so what we get into it i'll put make sure to put it up here in the video right so we've got cinebench r20 the idols were 30 it was a three minute test custom three minute test and the max was a 63 cinebench r23 a full five minute test the idol was a 32 max was a 63 3D Mark CPU test. Now I let this run twice because I wanted to make sure that the heat sink was um, heating up. So the idle was a 33 and the max was a 61. I was quite surprised because there is a part in that benchmark that literally shoots up the temperatures. It has on previous testing. I don't know why I didn't do with this one, but still. And then I included Blender BMW. This was a full uh it finished the rendering within four minutes and five seconds the idols are 33 celsius the max was a 63 as you can see the idols are starting to creep up uh, i included blender classroom and uh the idols are 32 it went down by a degree but that could be the fact that obviously when i leave it settle then do it again it you know the max was a 64 this was run uh the blender i believe it finished in i believe it was 12 minutes or 12 minutes long 12 minutes so uh obviously my full thought is that it's great air cooler and that is done for the benchmarks now this is more of me saying now is do you should you buy it um i will find a link through they don't sell this over in the uk i will have a look on amazon for you but this is a very nice looking air cooler. The aesthetics are beautiful. Uh, the overall design is fantastic. Uh, the performance is also good. Uh, it does support AM4, LGA 1700. It supports all the latest. And uh, the, the, the acoustics, um, it wasn't that bad. The um, a full 100%, it is quite loud, but that's just one of them things I mean it's a big air cooler it's got two fans and you, you can't help that I mean obviously if they had their like uh, start pre static pressure fans on here it might have made the sound not so whiny but that's just my opinion and overall I like the cooler I think it looks awesome it looks really good uh, the overall quality is beautiful uh, I like the mount then, I always have from Thermal Right. So that's pretty much it. That's up to you really if you want to buy it. Uh, I'll leave the links down below for you. And this is Richard from Wildstack. Hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.